women have two main enemies, feminists and weak men. Feminists and weak men. I don't want to labor the point about feminists. So much has been said about how feminists are actually an own goal against women. Most feminists don't know that they're actually fighting against women. It can be as innocuous as women who look down upon other women who give up life uh, in the fast lane so that they can have children. Um, my wife, for instance, uh, gave up a high-flying job when she got married to me. When she married me, when I married her, she gave up her job as a teacher and got pregnant um, within a year of getting married. And I kid you not, one person, instead of congratulating her on the pregnancy, the first thing she said to my wife when my wife was telling her about the pregnancy was, you're letting the side down. How can you get pregnant within the first year of getting married and starting a new job? How could you do that to your new employer? Uh, this was to the surprise of my wife's like, child, job, child, job. That's no competition. Child wins every time. Child wins every time. Uh, it can be as innocuous as that, or it can be as toxic as the recent uh, episode where the US singer Macy Gray went on the Piers Morgan show and just said, just because you say you're a woman, doesn't make you a woman, which I thought, yes, somebody saying something sensible, but the internet came after her and the LGBTQIA, the alphabet spaghetti people came after her. And just two or three days later, she capitulated and was apologizing for being ignorant and prejudiced. And a lot of people, commentators were like, hang on, hang on, hang on, don't cave in to the, to the crowd and you know those people were attacked by feminists it's like you men can't speak to this issue you don't know what it's like for women why can't you let this woman change her mind even though even though trans people are taking the space of women you now have feminists who can't decide whether they should defend Macy Gray just because she's a woman or they should say Macy Gray you're wrong because uh, you are being illogical so we have this silly situation it's silly in my mind anyway where feminists are in a dilemma should we support Macy Gray regardless of her opinion just because she's a woman or should we actually say Macy Gray you're wrong even if that means we are siding with these men that are saying trans people are taking over the space of women. Feminists are confused. Feminists are, are in a dilemma. It's Jermaine Greer who was deplatformed for her opinions about trans people and she had to recant. If a feminist of Jermaine Greer's caliber can be beaten into submission by trans people. Feminism is terrible for women. Feminism is terrible for women, but I won't labor feminism. I won't even go into how feminism was hijacked by men so that feminists in past times were actually against abortion. They were actually against abortion but feminists were convinced by men that abortion was good so that they could stay in work. It's a fact. It's a fact that feminists in previous generations were anti-abortion. It was abhorrent to them because abortion went to the core of their being, the core of their purpose one of their purposes in life to actually produce children and yet they have been convinced that abortion is a feminist issue feminism is terrible for women but more than that more than 
feminism being terrible for women, one of the, the other enemy of women today is weak men. Weak men. And this was on display at the latest General Synod where the Bishop of Gibraltar was asked what a woman, well, was asked if the Church of England had a definition for what a woman is. And the Bishop of Gibraltar, uh, Bishop Innes, could not give an answer. He could not commit himself to an answer. He said the Church of England does not have a working definition for a woman, which was a surprise to many people, including me, because I thought the Church of England holds the Bible as the truth uh, about reality, about the created order, about how God created man and woman in his image, man and woman, you know, binary, nothing in between, binary, man, woman, uh, and binary and complementary, if you want. I don't know how Bishop Innes is going to be celebrating Christmas in his parish when we remember how a woman, a blessed woman, gave birth to our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not sure what uh, Bishop Innes will be preaching in his parish and saying, this person who we don't have a working definition for, gave birth to a man, the man Jesus Christ who is our Savior. I don't know what Bishop Innes' sermons will be like at Christmas. I don't know what his sermons will be like at Easter when we remember the death of our Lord Jesus Christ witnessed by women. All the men, or most of the men, did not follow Jesus to the bitter end. It was his mother who was there with uh, the only solitary disciple was John. And Jesus said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Uh, Jesus had a working definition for what a woman is, but the Church of England doesn't know. The Church of England doesn't know. This is the plague of weak men. This is the plague of weak men who cannot stand up for the truth who cannot stand up to the truth, who cannot stand up to the truth in the face of feminism. Again, the backlash against this question has not been predominantly from men. It's been from other women. For instance, Dr. Jane Hamlin, president of the BOMA Society, charity which looks after the interests of trans people, has been like, ooh, this is a... I'm puzzled why people are obsessed with this question of what is a woman, of defining a woman. Why must this be an issue for the Church of England? There's a woman standing up for women by letting in men masquerading as women. I'm glad to see some women like Maya Forstater standing up to the silliness, to the irrationality, to the silliness by these bishops who should know better weak men weak men are enemies of women weak men hate women i'm sad to see this canker this rot coming into the church of england but i'm not surprised i'm not surprised i'm i'm i won't I, i'd be surprised if any of the women bishops actually stood up against this with firmness and said you are invading. You are invading women's spaces. You are actually putting women at risk by upholding trans rights, whatever that means. But more than that, more than women with flocculent thinking, women bishops with fo flocculent thinking, vicaresses and bishop bishoprets, it's weak men. It's weak men that are putting women in danger. It's weak men like Bishop Innes. Weak men that are putting women and girls in danger. Instead of protecting them, instead of protecting them, they are putting women in danger. Weak men hate women. Strong men protect women. Strong men protect women. 
Strong men look after their wives. Strong men look after their daughters. They protect them. They don't let them. They don't put them at risk. They don't let other men who are pretending to be women put them at risk. The two great dangers of women, the, the two great enemies of women today are feminists, I won't labor that, but weak men, just weak men. Weak men are the worst enemy of women because they actually hate women. They don't want to protect men. And a shame on the Church of England for putting up, putting up with people like Bishop Innes. And a shame for the women bishops who can't even stand up for their own sex, for people of their own sex. A shame on them. A shame on feminists. A shame, a real shame, a great shame on weak men who will not stand up for women.